Hey, hey! This is my fourth or fifth video of the day. It's actually my fifth. One of them is, one of them got tossed because it's too long. Um, but this is my last video for the day. It's getting late. I'm tired and I need to hang out with my kid for a little while before, she, before the end of the day. Um, so she knows that I exist. <laughs> my poor children. No, no, I've actually been a much better mom lately. Um, so I'm going to show you a unrooted blonde wig because I have avoided unrooted blonde wigs a lot because I have dark hair um, and I've been afraid that, you know, they wouldn't look natural, that my dark hair would show through. So I just thought, you know, I've got, a, I've got a little bit of power left on my phone. Um, I have a lot of with a lot of videos that I want to do, but this one will be super short. So I have a Zara here that is a 24, what is this? It's either a 24 with a 22 or it's, yeah, that's what it is. It's like 24 or 22 something. It's really light. It's really pretty. Um, I will, of course, have the color name and, and numbers in the description bar. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you how this one looks on me with my dark hair. So, I explained in my last video that uh, wig caps have been working for me. I think it's the shape of my head. So, I've been wearing these headbands. It's just a plain old headband. Um, I'm going to get one of those wig grips, but for now it's headbands. This is what I wear under my wig to keep my hair back. And, um, let's just see how this unrooted blonde looks on me. Again, it's Zara. I think this one is a large cap, which I like. I like, in the Zaras, I prefer the, the, the large cap size. Uh, it just seems to work better for me. I don't, per I don't think I have a particularly large head. I think it's just shaped in such a way that the large size works better for me. Okay. This is new. I haven't done anything to it. I have not done any layering or um, styling. It's still, I think it still even has the, well, most of the factory. Um, Parting. Anyway, so this is how I would wear it. Put it to the side. And there she is. Got this pimple in the middle of my forehead. Try to ignore. So the thing with the large size ones is it's harder to get the lace to lay flat. Um, but I can get it. It's a nice lace front um, and a mono top. So basically what I wanted to show you is how well it covers um, my own hair and it doesn't peek through and it doesn't like, you know, create a shadow. Or maybe it does, I don't know, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, I, I am in the camp of being a little bit careful about unrooted blondes because um, my hair is naturally dark. And then what I always do is I pull out just a little bit of hair here at my temples to kind of blend in. So that doesn't work as well with an unrooted blonde wig. So I'd have to be, be a little creative or just wear it in such a way that my temples don't show. So there you go. I mean, I really just wanted to show you this Zara. No, oh, my phone's telling me I have no battery power left. So I gotta go. Uh, I wanted to show you the Zara. I wanted to show you the color. And, um, I've done that. Here's... That's the, the main reason I like Zara, the large cap, is that I get better temple coverage. And that's, like, the regular one is way back here. So I actually get this coverage here, which is great. Um, and would be, you know, if I didn't have any hair at all, it would be especially great. Uh, because it would look much more natural. But I don't find that the Zara has a particularly natural looking ear flap area, which is why
why it's good to wear her down. She's so pretty. She's such a pretty wig. Um, this is one of the ones I may be selling on eBay. So, um, I'll wash it. <laughs> I'll wash it before I send it out. Um, but I've never actually worn this out of the house or done anything to it. So, if you're interested in seeing my um, eBay, I'm going to have probably five or six wigs up in the next few days. My handle is La Petite Niel. So it's L A underscore Petite, P E T I T, I think. I think I spelled it the French spelling. I'm not sure. And then underscore meal, but I'll, I'll put it in the, in the box so you don't have to go searching for it. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to have some, some wigs up. I know for sure I'm going to have a, a Brittany, um, by Envy in the color Mocha, Mocha Frost. It's just too short for me. I've worn it a couple times. Um, it's just, it's beautiful and the color is wonderful. I just, it's too short for me. And then, um, I have a Kiara or, or Sierra. I don't even, it's the new Jean Renault, um, longer curly one, C-I-A-R-A -A in eight R H 14, which is a beautiful color. Um, I just don't like the curls. I would love the wig if it was straighter. Um, but the curls just aren't working for me. So that's another one I'm going to have. Up. And I know I have a couple others and like on this one, I'm still deciding. So thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned for more. Check out my other videos. Like I said, I've done five today, four of which will be uploaded. And I will see you in my next video.